this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Last time, we got the needle deep within the volcano north of, uh, north of Saturn Valley, and in this episode, we're gonna head into the Mole Cricket Hole like the game intended for us to do way earlier in the game. The reason why I didn't do that earlier in the game is because I wanted to get Duster first, so I sequence broke, basically. Oh. Well, that's cool. Anyway, you see steam coming out of this part of the mole cricket hole? Yeah, there's a hot spring down here. Use it if you need to. I think I'm actually full on health, uh, now that I think about it. So, I don't think I need to. Oh, well, actually, I did use some PSI earlier. Might as well just get back up to max. Well, in any case, yeah. There are lotus fruits blocking our path, so we can't get past them. We just have to head up here. Elder Cricket. Oh, okay. sound like he's actually strong. Well, yeah, sure, let's do this. Alright, it's boss time against the Mole Cricket. Alright, so first things first, what we're gonna do is attack. And then kill him instantly. Yeah, he's exactly as strong as he was in the prologue. There's nothing he could do to you whatsoever. Sure. We actually need a way out of here. Well, I mean, we knew it was up on the mountain, though, but I guess, technically speaking, you're not supposed to know that yet. I wonder if you could go straight to Taintain Island once you get Kumatora. Oh, it's a terrible idea, but you probably could do it. And we got the Mole Cricket Brother. Which, basically, if you get lost, he'll bring you right back here. Oh well. Anyway, you just talk to the Lotus Roots, and the Mole Crickets will eat them and get out of your way. How nice. Anyway, this guy will give you the map of the Mole Cricket Hole, which is accurate, but useless. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible to discern anything meaningful from this map other than the fact that we need to go that way. This area is kind of big, viewers, but uh, we'll get through it. We'll be fine. Oh, uh, he's a green mole cricket. Basically a safe frog, but in mole cricket form. I mean, if that's all you really need to know about, then I guess you do know all you need to know. There we go. 
don't think there's anything useful that way, but I don't know, it wouldn't hurt to check. I actually kind of wanted to go up here and see what else was there. Kind of weird how we we're able to fit up here, but... Well, I'll just try not to think about it. What does this sign say? Sincerity dumplings. they do? They restore 100 HP! Sure, I'll buy one. Why not? Not gonna spend my money on anything else anyway. Not right now, at least. Okay, well, let's move on with things and get out of here. Enough screwing around. So anyway, remember what that mole cricket said? Every time you see a turn, turn! And that's how you're gonna get out of here. Even if you were turn, 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 you would burn. Everybody loves the snowman theme. Myself included, viewers. I love this song so much. It's just a really, really pretty song that fits so well with just a snow-covered mountain or a landscape that's in the middle of winter. I don't know how else to describe it, viewers. I really don't. But I do know how to describe these enemies! We've got a ten yeti. I, I guess because he's hanging ten or something like that. I don't know, viewers. I really don't. Okay, well. In any case, let's just attack this guy. Uh, this guy and enemies in this area in general, they're all vulnerable to fire, so we're gonna use fire alpha on this guy. If you're in a group, you might want to use fire beta. Don't be too concerned with your PP consumption, because there's a hot spring right before the boss of this area. Spoiler alert, there's a boss in this area. It's an RPG, viewers. There are bosses everywhere. Anyway, you might notice there that that guy gave quite a bit less experience than some of the enemies we've been fighting have recently do, but that's because we're in an area that's lower leveled. Anyway, we've got a... Um, what are these? Chili Dogs. A very funny game. fire off on them. Again, uh, these guys can cast PK Freeze Beta on your uh, allies, which is not good. But, uh, that's no, nothing we can't handle. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could get those ice pendants back in um, Saturn Valley, but I don't think it's necessary for this area. None of the enemies here can really bring us harm. Not very well, anyway. Even if they do use Freeze Beta on you, it deals so much damage that by the time the battle ends, you won't actually have taken all that much by way of HP damage in the first place. So, you should be good. 
Alright, there we go. Oh, we got another 10 Yeti up here. Alright, got him. Let's see, there's a little area down here we can go to to grab ourselves a cancer bracelet. That's great, game. Is it one of those live strong things from back in the 90s before everyone hated the guy? Well, anyway, if you came here first, this would be a really good item for you to equip on someone like uh, Kumatora or Lucas, but since we have the Leo bracelets from Saturn Valley, we don't really need it. Oh well. There we go. If you run into a group of uh, enemies, like a multiple of those dogs, just use um, Fire Beta against them instead of Fire Alpha. One of the nice things about this area is that unlike the volcano, the enemies here really only uh, attack one party member at a time. So that way you're not completely hosed if, say, you run into a fight with a mist, lava, and um, a volcano man or whatever they're called. Oh, we got an item check guy. Uh, do we need to deposit anything? I don't think we actually got anything that warrants depositing. Nah, nah, we're, we're good. Ooh, and a safe frog. That'll come in handy. Oh, apparently we're uh, by Lydia's house. It's a mole cricket. Breath of the Wild? No. no. Oh, well, sure. Uh, we've got a mole cricket store here. Let's see. A uh, warm sweater that probably would have been more useful earlier in the dungeon than now. Um, a bantam charm, which I would give to Lucas if he didn't already have something better. Um, a bear hat. I might want to pick a couple of those up. More cancer bracelets. Let's see. Uh, flea powder, which would have been nice for that fight earlier with the facade. And white ribbons, which again are outclassed by something we already have. Uh, okay, let's buy a bear hat for you. And a bear hat for you. Um, yeah, I don't care about the boing ribbon for you anyway. That should be good. Good on you, mate. Anyway, yeah, uh, you can buy more stuff from the Mole Cricket store right over there if you really care. But, uh, I'll be fine. If you already did this part of the game and then you went to the volcano, I think there's like a Mole Cricket store outside of the Mole Cricket hole in the Murasaki Forest that would sell, uh, items that cure forgetfulness for the boss fight against Facade, but since I did that first, we don't have access to it. Okay, I just went ahead and saved the game again. Uh, if you're doing this part before you go to the volcano, you want to make sure you're at about level 30 at least for defense up Omega, otherwise uh, if you did the volcano first, you should be fine on levels honestly. Oh, the buns disappeared. And this is Lydia. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yeah, I could probably make a better reference than that, but whatever. I gotta play that game again one of these days. I haven't played in a while since I guess I kind of got burned out, but uh, I've been thinking about playing Skyrim again. Oh, hey, it's a pig mask. What's he doing here? I want to talk to the guy on the bed, but okay. Oh, so you saved his life. Hmm, good on you for being a good person. Oh. 
So it's just behind your house instead of in a volcano! At least they have, uh. At least they have a good view on their inevitable fate. Aww, the bunnies. It is time to act. Well, thank you. All right, let's go pull the needle. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. I thought it'd be a little quiet there for you to hear the full version of the pig mask's theme. But yeah, we're too late. The pig mask's got this needle. Nuts. So it's the masked man that's the one removing the needles. with that weird effect game. Uh-oh. Oh, what? He has jet nozzles on that thing? Oh, well, this just can't end well. In boss time against the Steel Mechorilla. Now this guy can actually hit pretty damn hard. Um, he can hit a couple of party members for a lot of damage, as well as just regular attacks doing quite a bit of damage. But uh, we should be able to take care of this guy. First things first, uh, we're going to want to use... <laughs> I just wanted to stop for that part. We're going to want to use Defense Up Omega on all the party members. I'm going to operate under the assumption that you're doing this earlier than I did. Um, or just in case you did this earlier than I did, and I'm gonna use defense up instead of using shield. Uh, let's see. Uh, we wanna have Kumatora use offense down, just like all our earlier fights. That we should only need to use it like a couple of times, really. Um, let's see. Since we have Duster, we can have him help out with the offense down with the scary mask, and we're gonna have Boney just attack. <laughs> There we go. I think I'd rather use defense up for this one just to show it off. This song is, uh, by the way, called a smashing song of praise. Let's see. Uh, let's go for another offense down and scary mask, I guess. Nuts. There we go. Uh, hold on a second, viewers. Sorry about that, just had to take care of something real quick. There we go. Yeah, now his, uh, now his offense is basically gone. Uh, let's see. Um... 
If you're lower level than I am, you might want to consider using PK Flash, but I don't think I'll bother with that. So let's just go for a standard attack. Uh, this guy is vulnerable to Thunder, so we're going to use Thunder Beta if you have it, Thunder Alpha if you don't. Um, otherwise, you could also use Freeze Beta uh, if you need to. Uh, we're going to have you attack, and you attack, and we should be good to go! Nuts. Oh, I suppose I could use um, Offense Up Omega. Or Alpha if you don't have Omega. Yeah, this guy can't do much of anything to us, especially when we're this far into the game, or leveled, or whatever. I mean, I guess technically speaking, we're like 7 to 10 levels more powerful than we need to be for this area, so... Oh well. I guess I could have maybe not debuffed him so much to make this boss fight a little bit more challenging, but... Did I attack with you? I meant to use Thunder. Oops. But yeah, if uh, you didn't do all this debuffing, or if you were low level, that'd be like 100 damage each, so... Yeah. Oh, okay, now he's short-circuiting. So, now he's just gonna go out and hit all party members, basically. Yeah, you see? But again, still nothing to worry about. Eventually, he's gonna go down. Ow, that tickles. There we go, got him. We beat him, but we didn't get the needle. so much for our hot streak. We got two needles in a row, and now we just lost one. Maybe if we had gotten here earlier, we would have been able to get the needle before the pig masks do. No, no, uh, you, you lose this one no matter when you get this needle. Cool. And we get Lydia's memento. The white box. What white box? Well, let's see what that pig mask is up to. Aww. All alone up on the cold, cold mountain. But anyway, the way off this mountain is up this way. It'll take you uh, to the graveyard, basically. Um, that's Basically, what's supposed to happen is that every time you finish one of these little needle dungeon areas is that it'll lead you to where you need to go for the next one, but I sequence broke, so that's why me going to the graveyard was just out of the blue, but anyway, yeah. In the next episode of Let's Play Mother 3, we're gonna head off to Tain Tain Island. See you guys then!